Foxy here at Tardo, and I'm going to show you how to customize Linux Mint 17. This also applies for other versions, but right now 17's out, so that's what I'm doing. Basically, what you're looking at is you're looking at all sorts of all sorts of awesome stuff you can do. You can customize your menu bars, your uh, start menu, your icons. I mean, pretty much anything you want, you can customize on here. Uh, first thing that you're going to want to look at is if you right-click the desktop, you can go to Change Desktop Background. Here you can change your actual wallpaper. Here you can change your fonts that are used in the system. And if you click Theme, here you can change what it looks like. Now, you can go to Customize. It'll come with a small list of different types of things, but you can customize your controls, which will customize all the little buttons and stuff like that. And will, I mean, it integrates into everything. It even integrates into your programs. So you hold the buttons and everything. That changes. I'll leave that open for an example. So you have all these different types of themes that you can go with. Not only can you do the controls, but you can also, let me change this back real quick, you can also change the colors of the windows and text and selected items and everything, like if you select something that's got that gray, you can change that. You can change your window border for, for Windows XP fans, they have a Windows XP window border. And for older generations, they have um, Windows ME 2000, 19, you know, 98, 95, blah, blah, blah. And then you have all these different types of themes that you can find. You can also change your icons. You can install new icons or you can click these different sets and see like that changes. They have a blue version and a green version. So you have all these different types. You can also change your pointer. If you like a white pointer, you have a white pointer. Or if you can have a black one. You can also change the size. You can have that giant midtown madness arrow. Or you can go down to as small as you want or whatever. If you want more themes, you can go to get more themes online here. And it will go to Mate Themes, and depending on what your version is, which this one I think comes with with three, so you can use two and three, but uh, they'll both work with it because this is Linux Mint 17 Mate. I like to use Mate because it's, as far as my experiences, it has been faster than Cinnamon, and I have a six core with 12 gigs of RAM, so there's no reason why it should be slow. Some of these, some of these may work, some might not work because they mix in a lot of different operating system themes. But the way that you get them is you would like click the link, and you go to here, you hit download, and it should come up with this targz file, and you save it. Okay, once you have your theme file, which this is it. You take it and you can drag it on here and it'll say like new themes have been successfully installed. You can hit OK. You can back that up or delete it or delete it. You can hit customize and then when you go in here there's your new theme and it comes up right there. And so this one comes with a couple different ones. This one has a panel background disabled and that because where it would turn it to where you could do custom. Yeah, stuff like that. That's how you do uh, themes, but you can go to the same same place, and you can go and you can get you can get icons or um, you can get whatever you want. One thing I thought was really neat was you can make your own custom menu button. 
and all you have to do is you right click it, hit preferences. You can set a shortcut to where whenever you hit, like for me, whenever I hit the Windows button on my keyboard, it will open the menu. You can go, and this is the icon that I'm using right now. This specific icon is... There's not a certain size, but it's good to know about what size you need to go in to be able to fit it into the window, which this one is 30 by 30 pixels with a transparent background. It's a PNG, in which whenever you want to do that, you would like go in the you know, and you would size something down to 30 times 30 or whatever will fit in there and you just pretty much go to here and you hit open and you just go to the file and you try it over and over with whatever sizes until you come up with something that looks nice. You can also type in your button text like uh, if you type in foxy it would say foxy right there for when you click it or menu or whatever you wanted. all these different things that you can customize as to what's in the menu. Um, to change a regular icon, it's a bit different. Instead of right clicking and like going to properties and then having to go through all these different menus to be able to change it, this is extremely simple. All you do is you right click hit properties, and then this picture right here, if you click it, boom, it'll bring it up right here. And then all you have to do is, let's say, we want to go in and we want to, let's say if this was a downloads folder, we could use this, and boom, it makes it a downloads emblem. And if we want to go back to that, boom, makes it a doghouse. So that's how you do that. You can do that with anything too. You could even do that with the Steam logo if you wanted to. Any of them. But that's how you do that. You can right click down here on your panel. You can orient your panel if you like it on the top to where the menu folds down you can do that. If you like it on the left where it stacks up and down you can do that. Uh, right, bottom, you can do all that. You can bump the size up and down, like so. Uh, that also would compensate for if you made an icon for your menu that was too big or too small, you could size your panel to fit it. So if it's, if it's slightly too big, like uh, let's say you made, you made an icon and it's getting cut off like that, all you would have to do if it's slightly bigger is just bump up your uh, panel size. So, and you can hit auto hide to where it'll auto hide like a Windows taskbar, which is nice. You can do a solid color to where you can change it to whatever you want. Let's see how it's like red there. You can do a transparent or like solid like that to where it can be all kind of like spacey, like arrow effects looking. Or you can use a background image and you can actually put in, uh, you can select any background image and it will put in like a like little top piece or whatever. It will put a slight clip it of that, which is pretty neat. And of course, Firefox, you can, of course with Firefox, you can, install like personas so that you can have your decorated menu box and everything. If you right click up here, I know a lot of people get um uh get upset about the menu bar, don't like it, or they want it up there, what you can do is you just right click up here and you can check and uncheck menu bar and put it up there. Personally I like the menu bar because it everything that you need for you know, tools and shit like that are all up here, so it's easy to use. Well, that's just about um, it. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll be doing more videos on Mint later on.